What's going on, everybody? This is Future Automation, a place where imagination meets reality, and you are listening to Tejas. So, guys, in previous video, what we did was we took a look at the magnetic door switch, which was a fun uh, video. I enjoyed it a lot, and I hope you guys also enjoyed it. And thanks for all the love that you have given for that video. In this video, what we are going to do is we are going to take a look at this awesome vibration digital sensor, which we are going to use to detect vibrations. And that's what it does basically. So with a cup of coffee, let's get started. So guys, in this video, what we'll be needing is a vibration sensor, an Arduino, and also help of our pro who is going to carry the vibration sensor's weight okay. and help us in detecting the vibration. So, as the pattern goes, before going to the coding part, we are going to take a look at the sensor and then we'll go to the data sheet and then we'll go to the coding. Now, I know that in last video, I didn't show you the data sheet because that sensor was not that you know complicated we have a read switch that is inside that video i'm going to create in future where the actual read switch magnetic read switch what it does how it works and what all things are there that i'm going to cover in that video for now let's go back to the vibration sensor so taking a look at the sensor this basically is a digital sensor and we don't have any analog pin for that so there are three pins. One is VCC. Then there is a ground pin. Let me see if I can zoom it a little bit. And you can see here, there's a VCC. Then there's a ground pin. Okay. So here we have VCC. Then we have ground. And then we have a digital output pin. We also have a digital output LED. So if it is detecting a vibration, then it will change the status of the LED. Now what status it changed, you'll see in a minute. And then we have a sensitivity adjuster. You can use this to adjust the sensitivity based on the minor vibrations or the base level of vibration that you are detecting. And above that, you need to detect the vibration. And then this is the actual sensor here. So one second. Yeah, so this is the actual sensor here. And that is connected to this whole module. And let me try to remind. Yeah. The, the model number of the sensor or the module is basically SW420 something. And I'll give it in the description. You can check it out. And the buying links as well. So make sure you go to that link and if you want to buy it, buy it out. And then we have the Arduino here. So there's no need of explaining how the structure of Arduino is. We have already read it. Now for those guys who are new here, make sure you go and check out the whole series back in i have created a playlist out of it and then we can go ahead and you can check out the sensor videos as well you'll get a basic idea of that moving on to the next part that is the data sheet so here you can see that in the pin the pin out diagram so by mistake i said it as a data sheet but i what i wanted to show was a pin out diagram so you can see that here as i explained uh a while back that we have three pins here so one is VCC, which ranges from 3.3 volts to 5 volt DC. Now you make sure that some of the sensors are ranged from 3.3 volts to 5 volts. Some sensors are only limited to 3.3 volts. Some are in need of 5 volts. Few sensors are also above 5 volts. So you need to check out the data sheet as well as the pinout diagram for those things. Then we have ground in between and then the digital output pin. Here we have the sensor indicator. What it does is it changes the status of uh, that LED based on the digital, uh, that is the vibration. So how it does, we'll see in a minute. Then we have the power indicator here. We have the sensitivity adjust. And then we have the main thing that is the vibration sensor. So basically what it does is there is a tilt switch in inside this whole, uh, you know, whole enclosement. And what it does it, if you, you are doing a vibration, so if I'll show you here, if if you are able to listen to this, I'm not sure it, if you are able to listen to this, but there is a 
there's a moving part in this that basically is what responsible for detecting the vibrations so if it moves front and back it will create a digital output which in turn comes to this digital output pin and that's how we are able to read whether there is a vibration or not now enough of the talk let's go back to the code what we have is a constant pin then we set up the pin mode it's pretty similar to what we have did previously and then we do to the we go to the wide loop where we are reading the sensor data and then we are serial printing it now you might think that usually what we do is we we serial print a statement like vibration detected or the door was open what we have done in the previous video but here we have added ones and zeros the reason being is that new thing that i wanted to show you today for that we need zeros and ones now most of you who have already worked with arduino might have guessed i'm not sure but let's go with it now let's upload the code i'll zoom out a little bit if needed yeah we'll connecting the sensor that is another thing that we need to do so we have we have declared the digital pin as two so the digital pin of the sensor will be connected to pin number two so zero one two and then vcc and grounds will be accordingly so vcc will be to vcc that is five volts zero so v in ground ground five volts and ground will be ground make sure you are connecting the pins properly there should not be any misconnections because that can cause in damaging the sensor so let's see if i can show you this whole thing in the frame okay so let's connect arduino let's board and i think we are good to go i'll pull up the serial monitor now and it should show us zeros and ones lots of zeros and ones yeah okay so if you're seeing here you can see that there are two pins now the reason why i said that you the what status it will put on the led is because you can see that when the vibration is not detected so if the the sensor is stationary let let me do that now you can see that when the sensor is stationary the the detection led is on but if i start vibrating it you can see that the 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 light will go on and off now let me just pull it here and i'll just do it like this so you can see here that there's a minor uh on off of the signal led and in the serial monitor also you can see that we are getting zeros and ones so ones are for vibration detected and zeros are for zeros are for vibration not detected now the new thing that i wanted to show you guys was so one second let's make sure that the values are back to normal now okay so at the top you can see that we have a serial monitor but with that we have one more thing that is serial plotter so if we pull up the plotter then let me just bring it here and okay one second we'll just okay so once you bring up the plotter once you so you can go ahead and you can start you know vibrating the sensor you can see that we are getting a plotting value there so that's the new thing so if you have any kind of values here even more than one values it does print that so this is one of the best update that i liked about in the arduino id and i think it's long back they have added it but i didn't get a chance to use it or show it so that's why i was hoping to show you guys this and that's it guys that was the vibration sensor sw420 that i wanted to show you guys and you can go ahead and try out different experiments with this sensor put it to your uh you know your walls or something to see if you can 
detect minor vibrations as well by adjusting the sensitivity of the sensor and if you like the video make sure you hit the subscribe button if you are new to the channel if you are already a subscriber make sure you share the video hit the like button add the comments if you have any if you have any queries i'll try to update them and keep innovating guys take care thank you